Okay, it's a simple recipe. It just involves eggs, flour, well, you can use milk. I like using half and half, that's up to you. Uh, a little bit of melted butter to put in the bottom of the pan uh, and mix in with things. Um, now, I tend to like to use xylitol instead of sugar, and that's mainly for when you um, start filling the crepe uh, before you want to eat it, if you're going to have a, a dessert style crepe. And of course, another mixing bowl for when you do the eggs. Now, it's a very simple process, and I will go through it uh, carefully. Okay, what we want to do first is we want to make sure the flour is very smooth. So we want to strain it through this strainer to remove any lumps. We use one cup of flour, which is 125 grams, I think. Okay. There you go. The flour is pretty good, clean. And the same thing for the salt. I'll try not to spill it. Make sure there are no lumps in the salt. Voila, that's done. Okay, now we've done the uh, the flour. We need to mix the egg and the butter and whip it up so that those little stringy bits of egg are all mixed in very well. Okay, voila. But we have, I have kind of a stiff whisk I do this with. Uh, makes it a little easier to really control it more, I find. Okay, it calls for one and a quarter cups of milk. I'll put the conversions into metric down at the bottom in the written part. Uh, so here's one cup, a quarter. I don't know how exact you have to be with these things. I've never found that it's that important, but just kind of close. Okay, so now we've got the egg and the milk. We're going to want to blend it in to the dry ingredients, which I just mentioned. Here we have our uh, uh, flour. And what they recommend is to put in a third of this mixture, approximately, and work that in until there are no lumps. And then add another third, again, until there are no lumps, Get it in slowly. We can see it almost kind of looks like dough for bread. Then another, add a bit more in because it's a bit dry. And just keep working it in until it becomes really nice and smooth. Now, not all the recipes I've seen say you need to do it third, third, and third. Just um, do it however it works best for you. Oops. Now, as part of the recipe, you have two tablespoons of melted butter, which I've already done because you're supposed to let it cool a bit. You just need a little pan. You could even use this thing. Put it in it over very low heat on the stove and melt it. You don't want to cook it. You don't want it to start to boil. Just so it's soft and will blend in to these ingredients. Pretty smooth. Okay. So now, we basically have that, and what we have to do is we have to take this, put it in the refrigerator for a minimum of 30 minutes, and that kind of lets it get comfortable. Uh, whatever little lumps there might be tend to get absorbed in with the moisture, and you'll be all set. So you do have to do this enough in advance so you're not doing this and then just sticking it on the stove. Okay, so here we are at the stove. We have the pan that's warmed up. We have the mixture that we have taken out of the fridge and we've uh, stirred it back up again. Uh, we have some melted butter, more melted butter, that we put into the bottom of the pan. And we have this little wooden thing. You can actually buy these off of uh, uh, Amazon, especially for making crepes. I just quickly made one and so I had to make something quickly. It works just fine. So you keep that in water so that the, the, um, the batter doesn't stick to it. 
Okay, so I'll just shake that off a little bit. Put a little bit of the butter in the pan. This is a non-stick pan, so it's really not for stick. It just, it just tastes good. We take a little measured amount of the batter, put it in the pan, and then just sort of move this round in a circle. As you can see, it's not going to make a perfectly round crepe or a perfectly smooth crepe, but it gets it distributed. I'll put it back in here so that doesn't stick. It doesn't take very long. So now it's been on for just a little bit. I had an interruption, so I had to turn things off. It's getting just a little brown on the bottom. It needs a bit more than that. And it's beginning to dry out on top. Now I think that's probably about right. It's beginning to lift up around the edges. As I say, I've only done this once before, so there we go. That doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look so good, but it doesn't, look so, it doesn't even look like an egg, actually. It looks like a moon that's gone off of a full moon. You only leave it a few seconds here on this side. 30 seconds, they say. And then you take it off, put it on a plate, and then these can be frozen very easily. You just need to separate them with a, a bit of um, uh, wax paper. So now I made a few that were fairly round. So let's start with the simplest possible dessert crepe. It's the one I remember from my student days in Paris. Crepe au citron, which is lemon, et sucre, sugar. So having made your crepe, as we did, we just, but there's nothing quite like really fresh lemon juice. So you just kind of pour it over, over the crepe. Voila, as they would say if you were in France. And then you take some sugar, and I use xylitol. I have blood sugar problem. And you just sort of sprinkle it over. And that sweet and sour is really fabulous. And then they would just fold it over that way, fold it over this way, and here you have oh, the most delicious taste on earth. Mm. I'm 18 again. This is the Grand Marinier, which is a, um, a, a wonderful French liqueur made from um, oranges. And they just do it like this. Let's see if I can. Yeah, splash it around a bit. Oh. Okay, and then just a little too soupçon of sugar on this one because the liqueur is already quite sweet. Sugar makes it nice and crunchy. And then again, just, you could roll it up. The French like to do it this way and they must have a reason for it. There is nothing like this. There are many other ways of using crepes. You can make breakfast crepes. You can put scrambled eggs and some bacon or scrambled eggs and sausage and you can I put savories in there if you want to. You can take um, onion and garlic and um, uh, fry them up in the pan and make them all nice and put that in a little fried egg on top. There are so many things that you can do with crepes. So once you make the initial crepes, you keep them in the freezer. You just either put them in the microwave or just warm them on the plant pan and put everything on it on the pan. And you can have an absolutely wonderful set of meals that uh, is different every time you eat. You can use up 
um, even leftovers and, and put on cream of chicken would be very good. Cream of mushrooms would be very good on it. Some people put a ratatouille inside it. There are all sorts of things you can do with it. So crepes, easy to make, multi-use, have fun with it.